What's going on, you guys? We're back. We're back at it. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of fishing in the last little bit. Uh, for the last realistically two years, uh, I've got the bug again. Just ordered some new rods. Um, we've gone on quite a few fishing trips lately, and you know, haven't made any content. But I go back and I watch these videos that I used to make, and they're just really fun ways for me to have you know realistically like a video log of a memory that I I got to have an experience with people and. So I'm gonna start making videos again. Um, I'm gonna make some fly tying videos. I'm enjoying fly tying again for the first time in years because um, I'm tying my own flies. So instead of having to tie three dozen of the same fly, I can tie four of the same fly um, just in case I am a clown and break off the first three. And if I lose the fourth, well, I wasn't meant to catch as many fish. But uh, I'm moving right now, if you can't tell, just absolute chaos in my house. Um, we're moving just to, just to a different area of Reno. Um, but uh, it's got a garage, three stall garage. So. Um, one thing that third stall is going to be occupied by is a boat that I bought. Um, I had a really close family member, um, pass away. It was my great uncle who's, uh, realistically the reason I fly fish, honestly, um, his, he taught my dad how to fly fish and he was a second dad to my dad. Um, and he, you know, he was given six months to a year to live and that was about three and a half, four years ago. So we got a lot more time with him than we thought we would. Um, and he passed away and, uh. I bought his boat from um, from his wife, and I'm basically going to fix it up, clean it up. It's it's in good condition, but there's still some things that I need to put some money into to get it fixed. Um, so I'll give you guys a tour of that in the next video. But uh, once we get all that kind of good and going and rolling, you know, we'll uh, I'll show you all of that. But uh, I'm excited. Uh, you know, we're going to fish some lakes around here. It's nothing. The boat's nothing crazy. It's a 17 and a half foot bass tracker. Um, with a 40 horsepower engine so it doesn't fly by any means but it'll get up and i'll be able to take it and fish it in a lot of different areas um, a lot of smaller lakes that i can fish around here that i really enjoy fishing um so that'll be exciting and then i think uh more than anything i'm just gonna make some content i'm gonna make some fishing content i'm uh, you know i've been getting into bass fishing getting into tuna fishing some ocean stuff uh I've been meeting a lot of friends that fish a lot of different ways than what i do so you know it's kind of kind of be a mix of everything it's not just going to be fly fishing only though it'll probably be predominantly fly fishing um but i'm excited i you know if you guys are watching this you know it's been a year and a half since i made a video and i really appreciate you being around still um and uh you know the big thing is just going to be getting out and going so just to kick this off what's what's better than a really slow day at fishing at pyramid um i fished the other day at pyramid and didn't shoot an intro or an outro because i'm because i'm rusty so consider this an intro and uh you know just fish pretty hard all day and it was really good conditions but just nothing was eaten fished just a few different zones a few different methods you know stripped a little bit in the morning fish some bobbers in the evening um but we'll get to that you know we'll watch a little bit of that that footage and just kind of the banter with uh the buddies and then uh you know enjoy and uh i'm really excited i'm hopefully you guys stick around and you know still enjoy the content that i'm able to put together but uh yeah we'll uh see you guys later all right so Got all the bugs we need. Got stripping setups are all over here. We're gonna go strip, see if we can get some stuff in the dark. Uh, good to be back, what's up gang? Um, let's try and catch some big fish up here, man. Dude, I can't believe there's not this, there's only this many people here. No. Dude, usually it's half this distance between these guys and twice, uh, like twice as many people. Now, is Phil going to be able to really effectively fish this? I said, is Phil going to be able to effectively fish this? We'll see how it fishes this morning. If it's like lights out, we'll stay. If it's not, then we'll go check something else out. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. Nice. 
on the strip. Ate that pretty good. Later. Ew, gross cast. I'm about to piss my pants. His pants are pissing. Oh. oh, dude, this is not ideal. <laughs> Phil just left. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and the chair, and the chair comes down just low enough that it hurts your wrist. <laughs> I would just pick it up and carry it, dude. <laughs> beaches where stripping would be decent from right now are they're all pretty shallow um, when we get like this mix of high low pressure with a west wind I like to find a deeper shelf and um, we're gonna head up north and we're gonna probably bobber fish for a little bit see if we can find something there you go right here they'll eat in a second it's good wind Good shop, good overcast. This is fishy. Even if it's one big fish, fishy, I don't care. Right. Darren, I hope you catch it, but I also hope I catch it. And I as well. I, and I hope Jake and I think I hope everybody catches it. I'm not. I don't live on the res now. Um, it depends, but both. Oh, against all odds, the bobber goes down. First cast with the uh, black nickel bead fuchsia wire, or fuchsia. I got a bunch of them. Yes, yes, got one. Later fish. Slow day, holy cow. All right guys, thanks for watching. Video was kind of hastily put together. I just decided last night, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring a GoPro, make some content. Um, slow day fishing, still picked up a few, but uh, Nothing too crazy, but next couple of videos will be a little bit more uh, mindfully put together. But this was a good one to just kind of get get back into it and uh, you know just kind of throw something together. So we got to Pyramid Fish again probably on Friday I think this week. So try and put something together then, and then I have a fun trip in Wyoming coming up that I'm gonna put together like a whole thing on. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.